So for all marks of Sten Gun, this is a Mark V because I've got a Mark V. For all marks of Sten Gun comes the Sten Gun webbing sling. This example is in neutral tan webbing and it is 44 dated. Um, in all instances, the sling roughly about 55 inches long. In all instances, the front will have this circular steel loop. And the first pattern of these slings have a steel O-ring at the back. As the war progressed, the O-ring was replaced by a D-ring. And as you got into the later stages of the war, right at the end, but not really used, was one with a metal dog clip. If you have one of these with a metal dog clip, um, the chances are that the post-war dated, because the one with the dog clip is more associated with being the sling for the post-war Sterling submachine gun. So where does it fit on the sting gun? Well, this looped end, all sting guns have these perforated barrels jackets that merely clips through the side and it goes through the hole. That's it secure. Now when it comes to the rear O clip or D clip, you'll notice that where the removable buttstock is, it has this distinctive gap at the bottom of the butt stock. So you've got the push button that holds it in place. Then up there you've got a bracket that goes in there. You always have this gap. Now when you take the buttstock off, if you can take it off your deck example because some are welded in place, whether it's the skeleton stock or the wooden stock of the Mark V, doesn't matter. They all have this little gap. That's where this clips in. Ta-da. We'll do it in a minute. It's going to be interesting to do it with one hand. Because mine's the Mark V Sten, it also has the provision of a rifle mount there so that the gun can be used on the shoulder of the operator in the ready position. So I'll show you where it goes on this, if I can do it with one hand, so bear with me. That goes down, that comes off. Now where you've got that provision there, doesn't matter if I get it the wrong way around, that clips on, oops, that clips through there like that, just lies on there. Now then, this is gonna be interesting. I'll put that back on there and maybe push it and clip it. Yay, one hand, how about that? So that's where it goes on all of the stems. But on the Mark V, you also have that provision there. And what happens is, again, it's gonna be nearly impossible to do this with one hand, but I can give you a little bit of a slight demo maybe. Where this one goes, in this instance, the whole thing passes through there. It just comes back on itself. There's this additional loop that just passes through the loop. This loop comes down to form a little loop on there so that the gun can be worn slung over the guy's shoulder in the ready position so he can fire it from the shoulder. So that's the sting gun sling. Available with O-ring, D-ring, and later dog clip, but the dog clip one is mainly for the Sterling submachine gun. Cost between five and ten pound. They're not they're not rare. But in all instances, the stain gun slings have that metal loop thing on the end in steel. Stain gun sling. Bye for now.